Hey, what's going on? It's your boy DC. And we're at Stacy King Cobra Boxing Club. And you're watching True School Sports. All right, Brennan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm here with the man that you guys probably don't know, but you will in a second because this is a man that has a lot to say and has been through a lot of boxing. Uh, Jamel Eddie. Edie. Edie. Jamel Edie, my bad. Jamel Edie. Uh, great to have you on. Thank you. Uh, first of all, tell people about yourself, you know, your background in boxing, how you came up, and what do you do? Well, my name is Jamel Edie. I'm originally from Albany, New York. Um, in boxing since I was 17 years old. Had a good little amateur career. 117, 117 wins with 16 losses as an amateur, 7 3 as a pro. Um, came back from over in Spain in 2000 or something like that. Started working with Trevor Amir a little bit, and um, now we're here. Yeah. Straight from the amateurs. Straight from the amateurs. Straight from the amateurs. Came down here, signed on with Don King in 2011 of September, and um, we've been down here in Florida ever since. Okay. Yeah, and you've been a part of the process, helping build Amir up to yes. what he is now. Now he's has a big fight against uh, Jose Ramirez. Yes. What do you think about that fight, Jamal? Um, it's gonna be a good little fight. You yeah. know, um, we're not taking this kid Jose for granted at all. He was an Olympic in 2012, Olympian. Um, he's undefeated. I think he's 22 and 0. He's a good little fighter, but um, I think Amir brings a little bit more firepower, a little bit more boxing intellectual. To the to that ring to that arena that night, and, mm -hmm. um, we operating on all cylinders like I know we are. He gonna be in a little trouble. Yeah. No, he gonna be in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. He gonna be in a lot of trouble. What, what what have you seen from Amir as far as his progression as a fighter since the the Granados fight? Because now people write a lot, a lot of people write him off. So right. Well, in that Granados fight, uh, we had a, we had a miscommunication in that fight, as you you may come to understand now. Mm -hmm. um, Amir was mentally not ready for that. At that particular time, he was going through some things, and um, then he got sick physically. And we didn't, as trainers, we didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. And Amir didn't disclose that. You know, he said, I can fight, I'm going to fight. I signed the contract, I'm going to fight. He's a warrior, he's a fighter, he's going to fight regardless. And um, that was a misunderstanding on our, uh, our part as, as trainers and managers. We didn't detect that, we didn't question him on that. We just took that like on face value. And um, you see what happened. Up in Canada, he yeah, had missed yeah. that, and um, but one thing I can tell you, he's had learned and he grew from that fight. He didn't blame the trainers, he didn't blame nobody. He took full responsibility of that hiccup, and um, he's ready to prove himself all over again. You know, what I'm saying we had a couple fights in that meantime, and um, he's back to the number one mandatory, and we're here to prove to the boxing world and to the people at large that a mere imam, a mere young master imam, is a force to be reckoned with in this boxing. Absolutely, and, man. Um, we we gonna prove that March seventeenth, God willing. 